everyone welcome to another vlog so let's just get right into it lit hub recently published an article where they interviewed boy genius and asked for 48 books that they would recommend to people and i said in a past video but if you don't know who boy genius is it's a band made of phoebe bridgers lucy dacus and julian baker i've personally been aware that each of them is a big reader especially lucy who I know is really active on Goodreads. I thought about doing another reading vlog, um, although I just posted one. Um, you can watch it here. And I might do a reading vlog in the future around Boy Genius, but I have an impromptu idea for this vlog. Ian and I had already planned to visit this cute little cafe in Portsmouth and then go book shopping afterward. So what I am thinking for this vlog is that I make a curated list of reads that Boy Genius suggested and then try to hunt those books down. Before I give you my shopping list, let me tell you which of the books I suggested that I have already read. All right, so I have my notes here. I have already read Night Bitch by Rachel Yoder. I've read Weather by Jenny Awful, though I listened to this and I recently bought a paperback so I could reread it and add notes. I've read Tuck Everlasting by Natalie Babbitt, which is a childhood favorite. I've read The Neapolitan Quartet by Elena Ferrante and Conversations with Friends by Sally Rooney. So these books make the tiniest dent in this very robust reading list that they have provided. So. I have no interest in forcing myself to read any books that don't spark curiosity when I read the blurb, um, so I will be handpicking books from the 48 titles. Um, I do have a caveat when I am buying books, and that is I will only buy a hard copy if there isn't a version available in Scribd or from my library. So I will let you know if any of these titles from my personal curated list are available on Scribd. My exception for buying a hard copy, even if it is available to me elsewhere, is if I think that it's a book that's ripe for plenty of bookmarking and note taking. But let's get into my shopping list. Okay, so I have everything here. My curated shopping list is Cleanness by Garth Greenwell, Letters to a Young Poet by Rainer Maria Rilke, The Lonely City by Olivia Lang, Cool for You by Eileen Miles, Young Once by Patrick Modiano, Jazz by Toni Morrison, The Idiot by L.F. Baltiman, and I am going to add Minima Morelia by Theodore Adorno because I also think that Ian would like it. Cleanless is available as an ebook on Scribd. Letters to a Young Poet is available as an ebook and audio on Scribd. And The Idiot is available as a hard copy at my library. So Excluding those three titles, my final curated list that I will be shopping for this weekend is The Lonely City by Olivia Lang, Cool For You by Eileen Miles, Young Once by Patrick Modiano, Jazz by Toni Morrison, and Minimum Moralia by Theodore Adorno. So as a disclaimer, it is certainly possible that I will only be buying a few of these or none of them because they may not be available in the stores that we'll be visiting. Um, and I also may buy additional different books during this trip if I happen across them. Um, but wish me luck in this endeavor and I hope you enjoy the little clips of our weekend. Okay, so... I am just so excited about these books that I think I am going to walk over to my neighborhood bookshop, see if they have any of these titles, and probably just settle down for a little bit and work there, get a matcha latte.
Look at the tubes. <laughs> Welcome back. So you know that the intention for this video was buying the, or at least trying to find the five books that I selected from the 48 titles in the Lit Hub article about Boy Genius's favorite reads. So I'm going to be honest with you guys, it was a failure. <laughs> I got one of the books <laughs> and that book was The Lonely City by Olivia Lang. However, I did find some other titles from the two used bookstores that we went to, Portsmouth, that were mentioned in the longer list from Boy Genius, or were authors that um, any of the band members had mentioned. So I'm going to do like a little book haul, and Ian also got some books. <laughs> this is Ian, my husband, if this is one of your first videos of mine. He was in one of my Vlogmas videos, right? Yes. Yep. <laughs> All right, so... I can talk. Huh? I can talk. Yes, he can talk. He's not just a figure in the background of some of my vlogs. But anyway, so the books that I got, um, I'll just go through these quickly, but I got Margaret Drabble's The Radiant Way. I heard about Margaret Drabble through CJ Reads. I also got Carson McCullers The Ballad of the Side Cafe, which was on the Lit Hub list, but I hadn't put it in my hand-picked list. But I think Lucy Dacus um, recommended this one. Uh, the next book that I got was Department of Speculation by Jenny Awful. I Have Weather by Jenny Awful. Next, the, uh, next one that I got is Edna O'Brien's House of Splendid Isolation. I read The High Road this month, and I'll be talking about that in my wrap-up. And then I got Joan Didion's Slouching Towards Bethlehem. And then finally, I got Love in the Dark Time by Colm Toybin. And I think, in general, this is still a list that is very much inspired <laughs> by Boy Genius's recommendations, even if I couldn't find all the titles that I hoped to find. So um, one of the titles that I mentioned that I wanted to purchase was the Adorno one? Yeah. I can't remember the name of the book. It was by her. One of the titles that I wanted to purchase was <laughs> I'm blanking. Theodore? Theodore. One of the titles that I wanted to purchase was by Theodore Adorno. And I mentioned it to Ian and he said that he read um, Grand Hotel Abyss in which she was mentioned or he was affiliated with <laughs> yeah. some way. So this book, Grand Hotel Abyss, is sort of a, a biopic slash analysis slash critique 
of the Frankfurt School of Critical Social Theory. Um, and Adorno was a key figure in that movement. So um, it, it mentions his philosophy, but it's more like more biography than anything else. Um, I've read some Adorno like articles and essays, and I've never read a full book of his. But yeah, critical social theory. But at least if I couldn't get the title, mm -hmm. then we have something that is still reminiscent of that that I might read eventually or discuss with you because I think this would be a good one for us to buddy read yes. in the house. I got through page... I got through more pages than I have sticky note. I think I got through like 80 or something, but I never mm -hmm. finished it Yeah. for some reason or another. So that would be good. I think um, Julian Baker had recommended... Um, that title. But Ian got a few books too. Do you want to show you that? Yes. So first book I got from, what was the name of the first bookstore that we went to? Riverhead Books? Something like that. Yeah, something like that. Right. River House? <laughs> River or something. Yeah. <laughs> We've never been there. No. That's pretty good. Um, first one I got was James A. James a. Caster's Perfect Sound Whatever. Mm -hmm. um, James A. Caster, if you don't know, is a stand-up comic. Very, very funny. He's a four-part special on Netflix, so I highly recommend. We both like him a lot. Mm -hmm. This book is uh, sort of a walkthrough of his favorite albums from 2016. Um, that's about all I know about it. It's based on the blurb. I'm not sure if there's more to it than that, but I like A. Caster, or I like music, so it's perfect. makes sense. A book that I got from that same place was by Susanna Clark, mm -hmm. Pure Neshi. Piranesi. Piranesi. Mm -hmm. I've never read Susanna Clark. I know that she is very well respected and liked and she had Jonathan Strange, Dr. Norell, which she liked quite a lot. Mm -hmm. And I hadn't read fantasy in a while, so I figured it made sense and then kind of I like to read it when I'm done, so kind of double dip there. Yeah. Yeah, it looked interesting, so got that. And then from Book Bar, where we go to all the time, I got two books. They have a very good selection of like religious studies books, which I tend to enjoy quite a bit. Mm -hmm. So the one that I started while we were there is God's Armies, Crusade and Jihad Origins, History and Aftermath. I, for whatever reason, the genre that I really like is analysis of early Muslim and early mid medieval Christian history and kind of comparing the two. This is talking about how cr comparing the Crusades to Jihad and how the two movements are similar and different and their different goals and stuff. So. Uh, Good so far, but yeah. And then the last book I got, also from Book and Bar by Marcia Eliade, was Sacred and the Profane. She does analysis of sort of modern day religious studies, talking about different spaces, sacred and profane, of course, being the main one. I've read an essay from her before for a philosophy course at college, but I've never read the full book, so I was excited to see this. I think it was there last time. I didn't buy it for some reason, but I said I'd get this time. So yeah. That is the books that I will read after I finish the book that I'm reading now, Ethics by Ellen Badu, which I'm Perfect. 20 pages into. Awesome. So I think even though, <laughs> even though we didn't find the specific titles that I mentioned, we got a lot of authors that Lucy, Jillian, and Phoebe have talked about, have read themselves, and I think we're very happy with our hauls. Yeah? Yes. Awesome. So long. Thanks for all the fish. I hope you enjoyed uh, book shopping with us. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. I post every Wednesday and Saturday, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.